Hello. I wanted to uh, make a little video to show how to actually run the statistics extractor um, because it's a little bit technical, so I thought it would be good to have a video. So I'm on the page that you're probably on to see this video. And uh, the first thing I do is I log on to Audible, which I have done here. I'm on audible.co.uk. Let me hide that for now. Um, then I click this link to open up in a new tab the script. I click anywhere and then Control A to select the text and Control C to copy it into my clipboard. And then following here, I go to audible.co.uk. I go into my library. And at the bottom, depending on what books you want to export, you may want to open this to be 50 books or you might want to change the page you're on. Because my script will only get the books that are currently visible on the page. So if you have a lot of books, you might want to go to 50 books per page. And then if you have even more than that, you're going to have to page through your different pages uh, yourself and run the script on each page. To run it on a page, you right click somewhere. You go down to inspect to open up this here. And you want to go up to console. And I'm just going to clear this text here. And then you go where there's a little blinking cursor and you paste in the script. Now, all of this has been for Chrome. And I also want to make a little caveat here that copying and pasting somebody else's script into your browser to run it there is not a safe thing to do. So you really should read through my script to make sure that I'm not making some weird calls where I'm not calling out to weird places and so on. And if this is not, you shouldn't make this a habit. Um, if you want to use my script, you're going to have to do this. But if someone, you know, an email you get <laughs> asks you to do this, you know, you, you really shouldn't do it unless you trust the script. So with that caveat out of the way, if I just run this, um, go down and place the cursor at the end and hit enter, then it looks like I just removed all your books, but I'm just reformatting how the page looks. And every three seconds, I will um, request another book. And so you should see... Huh. Okay, well, that took a long time. That's strange. Okay, well, now it's... I don't know why it took so long, but... Coding is a wonderful and weird thing. Anyway, every three seconds I'm requesting a book now and I get back the data. So you're gonna have to wait for it to go through all of the all of the different books here. Um, you can make it go faster by changing this to make it maybe request a book every second. But I kind of, like you're making a lot of requests to Audible and you don't want them to look at you and go like, hey, why are you requesting all these books so quickly? So. I, I put it on three, I haven't had a problem with that. And really, we can't be that much in a hurry in life. Uh, you might see that some rows remain blank and you might get these red errors here. Not every book request when I call for it works. Um, it can be a problem in my script. It can be a weird thing with Audible. Um, if you get a lot of errors, like if you just get one or two errors, go and get the book information manually. Um, if you get lots of errors and you think that there's something wrong with my script or that Audible has changed something on their side, then do send me an email to let me know so that I can look into it and hopefully fix it. Um, so what we've done now is we exported this in this HTML version here. It's nice to look at, but if you want to export this to Excel, I'm just going to reload the page to get to a fresh start, so to speak. And again, I'm going to clear the console. If you want to export it to Excel, then before you run the script, at the top of it, you have this export format here. JSON is something that if you're a programmer and you want to export it to some weird and wonderful place, JSON is the format you want. But if you want to export it to Excel, to have it maybe in a file on your hard drive, um, just change HTML to Excel before you run it. And now, when I hit enter, 
I'm going to get all of the book information in pure text format. And it won't look good here, but what we're going to do is when this has run through, or yeah, I'm, I'm not going to wait for it, I'm going to select all this text and hit copy. Then I open up Excel, open up a blank workbook. And if I just hit Control V here, it's not going to work. You see, this doesn't look good. But what I can do is I can go up to Paste, Paste Special. And instead of pasting this in as HTML, which is the problem, I will paste it in as text or Unicode text. You should do Unicode text if you have foreign characters. And then you hit OK. Now it goes in OK. So now you can do whatever data crunching exercises that you want. These rows are empty because I didn't wait for the script to finish. So I only got data for, for these books up here. If you want to use um, my Excel spreadsheet that I, that I use, I have provided a link to it here. And you can save it and then open it. Um, the analysis tab is just a, a data crunching thing. List is where you want to put it in. Obviously, you want to get rid of, of my silly books. Um, note also that the headers here, title, author, minutes, by date, is different from what the headers currently are in the export script, which is title, authors. I have narrators here, which I don't have in my script, I only have author, I don't have narrative. So you'll want to basically make sure that the headers line up with mine before you paste it in, otherwise it won't work very well. All right, so that was it. A big grand walkthrough of my Audible extractor script. If you like it, please let other people know who also have Audible and who might want to use it. Uh, I would love to hear from you. It's always nice to hear when people like my script. And if you have time, I would love for you to check out my my other app, which is uh, Fojo, which is like a it's a um, it's a visual journal uh, where you put up one photo each day, and instead of writing a journal, you have a picture journal, and it, it's really cool. I would love for you to try it out and let me know what you think of it as well. Um, and that's it. Right. Thank you very much for looking at this and good luck. Bye-bye.